so class we are going to start with the discussion and answers of this chapter as we have discussed two questions yesterday so let us start with question number 3 that is why is the author and see i'll see from book why is the author deeply embarrassed the next day in school which words show his fear and insecurity yes raise up your hands let me see yes speak out the yes, author is the author the author the was deeply embarrassed the oh. next day at school because of the state in which he was hmm. the clothes he was wearing looked odd his shoes were gone in the fire and he had to wear tennis shoes to school hmm. he had no homework or books and his backpack was also burnt in the fire some of the words that show his fear and insecurity are outcast geek wanted to curl up and die zombie and surreal yes very good very good excellent answer completely accurate answer by you ramni so ultimately what has happened that he was just feeling like a geek and zombie when he has entered the school the next day as everyone's attention was focused towards him he was without his backpack as it was burnt he was without books homework as well as notebooks he was also of course not in his proper school uniform as he has as all his you can say all his clothes were uh, he did not have uniform with him his shoes were also burnt and he has borrowed his aunt's tennis shoes to wear in order to go to school so ultimately he was completely in sad situation when he has entered the school the next day but still it was appreciable on his part that he has not missed his school the very next day and the words which suggest this she has completely mentioned outcast geek zombie and surreal okay so what are the words like outcast geek zombie and sorry strange okay yes next question is next question is the cat and the author are very fond of each other how has this been shown in the story and were where was the cat after the fire who brings it back and how so many questions entangled here okay so many questions they are woven into each other related to cat first of all tell me uh, how the cat and the author were very fond of each other yes dia you can speak the author had great affection towards his cat uh, in my opinion we share a great bond of love and affection hmm. with our pets hmm. uh, in the story too, the author has a great bond bond of love and affection for the for his pet cat mm -hmm. he cried inconsolably when he could not find his cat after the after the fire right. he would regularly go to the side of his house in the hope of finding the cat mm -hmm. he remembered how the cat would crawl into his pocket and fall asleep and missed her terribly mm -hmm. uh, moreover when he whenever he was doing his homework she would sit at the top of paper and purr uh, and swat Uh, they had his pen for entertainment mm. this shows that they uh, they shared a unique bond of love and were inseparable okay right so uh, right you have given a good answer so how we can come to know because he was badly missing his cat when he was not finding his cat he thought that everything has been lost and when his cat was back he thought that so was he so this shows this single statement showed or uh, it has it shows that what kind of great and affectionate lovable relationship was a uh, great lovable and uh, you can say affectionate relationship existed between them so afterwards so afterwards you can mention that he has also remembered the time spent with his cat as he used to wake him up untimely in the morning the cat would the cat would purr and sometimes crawl into his pocket also into sleep he missed his this red tabby cat as in the beginning of the chapter also he has made a special mention of his cat this special mention of the cat also symbolizes also depicts his feeling towards his cat that that he had happy time and used to accompany the narrator whenever he is sitting alone as the cat was sitting on his papers and was sweating at his pen on and off again just for entertainment sake okay 
so right so it means that you have to give all the instances from the chapter related to it okay now the next part of the question is where was the cat after the fire where was the cat the cat has the cat ran uh, ran over a mile away when the house was on fire yes the cat freaked away because of the fire so it ran away somewhere in order to save himself so ultimately what has happened the cat saved itself and who brings it back and how a stranger a lady a, a stranger lady brought the cat back as the number of the narrator was written on the strap of the cat but as all the telephone connections they were you can say they were destroyed and all the you can say for all the phone connections were destroyed after the house was burnt or after the house was set on fire so finally what happened finally what happened she has brought she found she laboriously uh, looked for the owner of the cat and she knew that this cat was really loved and missed by someone and finally she has brought back after one month of its of being lost okay so it when she has brought when the author was sitting with two of his friends and was discussing the design of his bedroom she heard someone coming back from behind and it was this french lady who has brought that cat in her hands and handed it over to the narrator the kind of you can say happiness and ecstasy that was seen when the narrator has got his cat back and he has you can say he he has taken how the way he has taken the cat from the hands of the lady this also shows the great relation that existed between the narrator as well as his cat so many instances right clear this answer yes ma'am okay fine next is what actions of the schoolmates changed the author's understanding of life and people and comfort him emotionally and how does his loneliness vanish and how does he start participating in life yes sarshpreet you can speak yes ma'am after the loss of all his belongings in the fire that ravaged his house jan the narrator started feeling depressed and embarrassed at this time the friendly and helpful actions of his schoolmates changed his understanding of life and people and comforted him emotionally his schoolmates took up a collection and bought him school supplies notebooks and all kinds of clothes jeans tops and sweatsuits those who had never spoken to him before came up to him and introduced themselves many invited him to their houses their genuine concern touched his heart he felt relieved and began to believe that everything would be okay he stopped focusing on his feelings of insecurity and opened up to all the wonderful people around him the company of his new friends and sharing joys with them made his loneliness vanish and reconnected okay good so ultimately can... the way his friends okay the way his friends helped him to provide him to life the notebooks as well as other supplies as well as track pants this this has entirely changed his life he started loving life he thought that although there are number of bad things that has happened to him but now the things they are going to change so this comforted him and he started participating in life and it is on that very first day that he has got uh, that he has got uh, he has got so many invitations from his friends to their houses and moreover he started making friends and it was on that very first day he made friends and this has changed his life and he started adjusting in his new school and finally his life is setting back on the right track back again okay so this is clear okay fine next question is what is the meaning of my cat was back and so was i and had the author gone anywhere and why does he say so so what is the meaning of will explain it yes who will explain it let me see panika has an answer panika okay lovelina okay yes you can speak one by one the, uh, the author had not gone anywhere hmm. uh, author wants to point out the life uh, 
without the affection is that the life without the affection is useless hmm. he was after a great loss in all the fields his old school and teachers the house got burned in the fire and he lost his head in such circumstances he considered himself dead and had no interest in life hmm. gradually uh, he made new friends in the new school and saw his house getting rebuilt hmm. when a stranger and gave him his cat back he says <laughs> my was back and so i was yeah, means it means that his life was getting back to normal he has got his house back it was rebuilt again and finally when his cat has come back he thought that the all loss that has been made it is going to be compensated the emotional loss that he suffered actually that is going to be consented and uh, compensated and he thought that with the back of his cat he was back to his normal life so this is the reason why he said so that my cat was back and so was i right so now some extra okay. can i speak next person you can speak okay that i am writing on board right so this you can speak yes so the first question is why why was the authors why was the authors first year at school awkward why it was awkward yes lovelina you can speak this answer yes i think she is muted yes ma'am may i speak yes yes uh, he felt awkward because it was his new school much bigger than her pre uh, much bigger than his previous uh, school and uh, he also felt isolated as all her close friends had gone to different high schools and uh, no anyone there means yes it is just because of the relation that he has lost with his previous school he was not relating himself to this new environment he is not able to get adjusted to this new environment actually he is not ready to make such kind of frequent adjustments in his life okay so this is the reason he thought that everything is not well and everything is going bad in his life and he thought it really very awkward in the new school as he did not have any new friends there also he was missing his old teachers he was missing his old friends too okay so the next question is i should call up and i just wanted to i just wanted to call up and die when did the author make this statement make this statement and why and why he has made that statement yes who will say ma'am can i speak uh okay you can speak yes the author wear tennis shoes that he was uh, that he borrowed from his aunt he was totally embarrassed by everything the clothes mm -hmm. he wear was looking weird he mm -hmm. had no books or homework and his backpack was also burnt that's why the author said i just wanted to curl up and die yes because he was he was you can say feeling really very bad for all the bad things that has happened to him when he has entered his school he did not have his notebooks he did not have his you can say books as well as backpack moreover he has borrowed his aunt's shoes right so this is the reason he was feeling totally strange like a zombie in this new environment so at that moment the kind of attention that he was seeking okay he was also not happy with that kind of attention and at that moment he has just mentioned that i just wanted to curl up and die okay so next is why did the author get attention why did the author get attention in his 
new school and why he was why he was not happy with this kind of attention why he was not happy with this kind of attention why he was not happy with this kind of attention yes uh, let me ask somebody else wait yes panika you can speak yes ma'am uh, the author was not he thought that hmm. uh, that somehow uh, he was responsible for the fire hmm and uh, the author got a lot of attention in, in his school because everyone including the teacher came to know that his house had been completely destroyed in the fire hmm but he was yeah. not happy okay why he was not happy thing is that that the author got attention in his new school because uh, because this was circulated among all the teachers as well as the students that the new student who has entered the school his house was completely set to fire and all his belongings they have been burnt in in this in, in the fire so he he has turned out to be a figure of pity for all of them okay everybody's eyes were fixed upon him and whenever he is entering a group of students they are always talking about him and this kind of attention of course he never wanted he never demanded of course he said i uh, of course he uh, he deserved attention but not this kind of attention he had ever deserved so this is the reason he was not happy with this kind of attention that he is getting in his new school okay right so the next one is who all did the author feel grateful to who all did the author feel did the author feel grateful to grateful to after getting his cat after getting his cat what to whom he was feeling grateful to yes wait a minute yes speak dear hmm the author was grateful to everyone who had helped him in his time of misery he hmm. felt gratitude for his life his his new friends uh, who did not even know him but still got him so many gifts and invited him to his hmm. their houses the kindness of a stranger who had brought uh, back his beloved cat and uh, the most uh, grateful for the, he was most grateful for his uh, beloved cat who had returned and uh, now he believed that his life had a meaning yes he was grateful to all the persons the stranger who has brought his cat back his to his life also to his friends who has helped him during these hardships who have helped him who has provided him the greatest comfort when he is feeling uncomfortable in the new environment he is also feeling great grateful towards his friend who has supplied him with notebooks books and other you can say daily needs and he was of course grateful to his life that life has altogether given him a new chance to live as he earlier he was thinking that everything has been finished everything he was you can say he was feeling re really you can say sad in his life now with the return of everything when he has got his cat back he thought that the emotional string that has been broken at that time it is going to be rebuilt again and finally he thought that this uh, kind of emotional loss that he has suffered it is greatly compensated by the return of his cat so finally he was thankful to all the one who helped him who helped him to adjust in the new environment okay clear this answer so one more question if i talk about describe the hardship faced by the author in this chapter okay suppose this is a long answer how you will start just think for a while right uh, while i'm writing on the board then you can speak describe the hardships describe the hardships
faced by the author in the story in the story yes what are the hardships faced by the author in the story yes yes what are the hardships faced by the author yes who will speak speak out this chapter is about a teenager the about uh, the challenges of being a teenager and mm. the problems of growing up uh, in this chapter uh, the author has too has faced a lot of problems growing up moreover the fact that his house had burned to ashes he had lost everything from his identification mm. uh, to to his belo most beloved cat uh, he was down at the dumps but uh, moreover he had lost everything Hmm. uh he did not have a backpack nor books nor his homework and had gone to school the next day he felt embarrassed awkward like a zombie who, who did not fit in any uh, social place hmm. anybody want who will give a try to this answer yes anyone who can speak archita can you i have never listened any answer from you archita Lavina, okay, Lavina, you can speak. Yes, Lavina, can you? I have unmuted you. Yes, ma'am. Speak out. The author, the author's house caught fire and expects some documents and paper of his father. His mother was not able to save anything else. His mother was in danger for uh, for some time due to inhaling smoke. his beloved cat has run away and he was able to find him or his all clothes and books of school were burned next day he went he saw that his house caught fire he uh -huh. went school without uniform and books just uh -huh. wandering like a vampire and it was like its new school he had no friend nor uh -huh. his cat with him to share things he found his cat after two months due to a kind uh -huh. and a good lady yes So ultimately, life is another name of sufferings and uh, sufferings and you can say pain. Okay, there are number of hardships. If we are destined to face these hardships, they can never be avoided. And this has finally been explained in this chapter. A house is not a home where the where the house of the author it was completely burnt because the house was burnt, all the belongings were burnt, and the time has come when he has to go to school without his uniform, without his uh, homework, books, notebooks, as well as backpack. and this was really very strange feeling for him to spend your you can say to spend your time with your to spend your time in the new school moreover the moreover he suffered a great you can say emotional loss when his uh, dear cat red tabby cat was lost he thought that it was burnt in fire still as he was not sure uh, as he was not sure about the whereabouts of his cat so he was trying to find the cat finally when the cat was back he thought that everything has is going to be on the right track he was quite grateful he was very thankful to his friends to the stranger lady who has returned his cat back so ultimately he feels okay um who so what he was feeling he was feeling like an odd ba odd ball in the school he was feeling like a geek zombie in the school but later on when everything was adjusted he thought that now everything is going right on the um, everything is going right on the track now and he would be grateful towards life okay so the last question is justify the title who will justify the title why the name of the chapter is a house is not a home yes justify the title a house is not a home why why the name of the chapter is the house is not a home yes let me see ashpreet yes ashpreet yes yes ma'am the word house denotes a structure made of concrete material why the word home can connotes a place where love and concern bind the people inhabiting a space hmm 
a house is not a home is an appropriate title because Zan did not lose his home mm-hmm. when he lost his house. Mm-hmm. Zan took to heart took to heart the burning down of his house and the things like his backpack, his his shoes and other belongings. When he received love, support and concern from everyone around him, he realized that the emotion which was present in his house had grown even stronger stronger after the fire tragedy. He had lost the house, but the home was still there, stronger than before. Hence, the little aptly conveys the main idea that material losses can be recovered, but they can't cause the loss of genuine emotions. Hmm. Yes, what is a house? So this is the only difference between house and a home is that a house is just a structure made out of bricks, mortar as well as cement. But a home is a place where apart from getting shelter, you get shelter for your feelings also, right? It means that you share a sense of belongingness. You share a feeling of, you can say belongingness. You share a feeling of, you can say coziness, okay? You share your emotions with the family members. So when his house was burned, then that structure of the house was completely built. After burning of his house, he has lived in his grandparents' house and he was also living in a rented apartment. But that there, as there was no sense of belongingness, he was not feeling like at home there. So he was not calling it as home. When it was called as home, when his cat was back also. Because, because the cat was not only a pet, but it was considered as a complete family member with whom he has shared a strong emotional bond. So when his cat was back, he thought that the structure of my house or the structure of Zan's house was being rebuilt. And ultimately, he thought with the back of his cat, this great kind of relationship that he shares with all the family members is again revived back. And ultimately, he thought that now this house is being converted into his home, right? So ultimately, one always has a sense of belongingness for his home. And this is all about this sense. So this is the reason uh, this uh, the name of the chapter is a house is not a home as the shelter that he has got earlier was just a temporary shelter. It was not fulfilling his emotional needs, needs only the emotional needs along with the physical needs are being fulfilled only in a home and that is all about a home that he has found later on. Right? I hope that it is clear. I think that now you have a deep insight into the chapter into the content of the chapter of course right so uh, next afterwards we will be tomorrow we will have the practice of grammar reported speech we have started and moreover story also okay we will have one writing skill also tomorrow we will have a descriptive paragraph okay so tomorrow we will do that